नमस्कार मित्रों रिसेंटली आई पिक्ड अप दिस वन बाई फोर्टी थ्री स्केल कार फ्रॉम अ लोकल स्टोर फॉर टू फोर्टी रुपीज विच इज रफली थ्री डॉलर इट लुक्स अमेजिंग सो आई थॉट वाई नॉट टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू एन आर सी कार विद वर्किंग हेडलाइट्स एंड बैक लाइट्स To control the car, I decided to use ESP Now communication. I'll be using this ESP32 based remote I built in a previous video. Since I only need to control two servos and some LEDs, and ESP8266 is perfect for the job. I have already completed the coding and breadboard prototyping. To make the build more professional and lightweight, I decided to use JLC PCB's PCB service for this project. I started by designing the circuit in EasyDA, converted it into a PCB, and downloaded the GUBA file. Then I logged on to JLCPCB.com to order the PCB. PCBs. JLC PCB is a popular manufacturer of printed circuit boards offering multi-layer PCBs, flex PCBs, PCB assembly services and SMT stencils. Besides PCBs, they also provide 3D printing and CNC machining services. They offer almost everything you need to prototype a product. Their user-friendly interface makes the ordering process easy even for beginners. To order PCBs, upload a GUBA file on JLC PCBs website, select your PCB settings and order high-quality PCBs at a reasonable price. A few days later I received my PCBs and the quality was amazing as always. I have been using JLC PCB service for over a year and they have never disappointed me. If you want to elevate your project check out the link in the description to order your own PCBs. This time I also ordered an SMT stencil for easier PCB assembly. Assembling PCBs with SMT components can be tricky but luckily I recently received this digital microscope from Blink Micro. The package includes a microscope monitor, cables, a sturdy metal stand and other accessories. Here's how it looks fully assembled. Now let's prepare the PCB and dive into the assembly process. It's a 4K 60fps digital microscope that can simultaneously record and display high quality micro shots on its 10.1 inch UHD monitor. It also supports external display via HDMI and USB. As you can see, the microscope is incredibly helpful for precise soldering and the recording quality is impressive. If you are interested, the buy link is in the description. Alright, the assembly is complete and the result looks fantastic. Now let's upload the code. You can use any programmer to program your board but I am using this cap of ESP programmer. I have already explained the coding process in a previous video so just follow the code provided in the description. Select ESP32 for the transmitter and NodeMCU for the receiver. And you are good to go. That's it, the transmitter and receiver are working perfectly. I initially used these four buttons for throttle and steering trimming, but now I have repurposed the throttle trim button to control the headlights and backlights. Now it's time to convert this pullback car into a fully functional RC car.
Now before continuing the process, let me tell you about today's sponsor LTM365, the first open platform for electronics hardware development. It keeps your team connected, streamlines design management with version control and provides real-time collaboration and supply chain insights. Seamlessly integrated with eCAD and MCAD tools, LTM365 lets you design the future from anywhere. Bring your next big idea to life with LTM365. And if you are a student and want to be job ready in electronics design, then try LTM Student Lab. Just enter your university mail to get started for free you will get free access to pcb design courses ltm designer and ltm365 so you can collaborate with your mates on a certificate that recognized by top industries in india learn real skills that lead to real job with ltm student lab check the link in the description now let's continue the process
It looks fantastic like a real car especially with the headlights and backlights. The throttle, steering and lights work perfectly but there is one issue, the heavy metal shell cover which weighs 65 grams slows the car down since the chassis itself only weighs 45 grams. I think I should have added more gears to compensate but without the shell the car runs much faster and can even drift nicely. Overall I am happy with the results but I'll work on improving the performance in future versions. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, sharing and subscribing to our channel. That is it for today guys, I'll see you in the next one.